everyone and welcome back. I am now at home and to be quite honest it's really gutting to be home from holiday and back to reality but at the same time it's nice to be back here in my own bedroom where I'm familiar with and you know I guess all things have to good things have to come to an end as they say. I just thought I'd do a quick vlog on some of the really awesome gifts that I got while I was away on holiday so that I could share the experience with you guys. Right so here goes. The gifts are all a bit jumbled up because I've put them in different bags and stuff so all the different gifts are from different people, um, well my family obviously but um, so yeah this was from my brother and they are West Country Scenes Teddy Bears Picnic Biscuits as you can imagine in the shape of teddy bears. I'm not going to open them just yet but they look somewhat like these. This next gift smells so amazing and my mum bought me this and it is a sandcastle bath bomb and it is literally it smells kind of coconutty little bit of a earth well not earthy but would it be right saying sandy? I think we'll say has a bit of a beach smell to it, if that makes any sense at all. Pop you back in the bag, Mr. Sandcastle bath bomb. Ooh, went in with a bit of a bang there. Next, we have a book on Dorset. Um, I quite like these books because they're good as little souvenir guides when you've been somewhere on holiday. Um, they're full of like pictures and descriptions um so you got the places like if you know dorset quite well um i feel like i know it reasonably well now i've been on holiday there but you got the places like durdledore the kern abbas giant um bournemouth pool um weymouth so you've got quite a few places in there this was also from my mum by the way next in here we had some literally really Mm, why do I keep saying literally? Anyway, these were from my mum and they're really cool because they're like animal emoji socks. Um, and you've got cat, bear, panda, koala on them and they're just really funky and um, if you're into your technology and into your iOS phones then these socks are epic. This is a gift from... I actually forgot who this was from. I think it was possibly my brother or my mum, one of them. I'm really sorry to my brother or mum, I've literally forgotten. These are bath marbles and basically they're like mini bath bombs. So they're ideal size, they're like little pocket size and you can just drop one or two, how many you like, in the bath. And um, they're just really cool and they're all really colourful white blue pink and orange and green so yeah I'm really looking forward to using these next I've got um the observer's book of dogs I've actually already got this book um it's quite an old book my brother bought me it um but I mean I'm still gonna have a look at it and in it anyway even though I've got a double but who cares and um yeah, and it's really good because you've got all the dog breeds in here. And as you know, I adore dogs and cats, but I also love dogs. And, um, well, it's got like, all the pretty much all the breeds, you know, every breed you can think of in black and white. Next, I've got a fudge ammonite from Rolly's Fudge in Lyme Regis. And no word of a lie, this was the fudge shop I said on my last vlog that smelt so good outside. And... The smell was heavenly. It's really hard to explain, but it was like a really sweet baking smell, and it was just, oh, it it just made you want to go inside the shop. And anyway, um, so yeah, I've got a fossil fudge. I'm really looking forward to eating that because it's all handmade in Lyme Regis, and that shop just smelled so nice. The smell is flooding through my nose right now. So good. Anyway. I then got this candy floss rock from my mum, which 
I can't really smell it through the packet, but it looks tasty. It's like pink and it's very nice. Um, I also got... This is just really funky and really random, but I got it from my brother. And it's a Minecraft figure keyring. Um, I think it's Steve. Quote me if I'm wrong. But, oh wow, it's just so cool. It's like it's doing the can cam right now. Look. Woo. Um, yeah, that is pretty nifty. I'm, I'm liking that keyring. Got this book also from my brother. Um, Giant George. Uh, Life with the world's biggest dog. I believe this is the Guinness World Record Breaker. Um, um, yeah, that looks quite interesting, actually. Um, I'm looking forward to reading that, so thank you to my brother. And then I also got this from my brother. I think this is the last of... Oh, no, not the last, but second to last gift from my brother. I've got a goldfish soap, and it smells really zesty orange, and it's so nice. Um... Yeah, it's a massive soap bar as well, um, but it smells really good. So my last gift from my mum was the strawberry soap sponge. Um, as you can see, my love of soap and all fragrance things is showing through in this little gift spree. But um, no, this looks really good. You can actually see the sponge through the soap. Um, it smells really strawberryfied. Strawberryfied. I, I think that's a new word, of mine. So yeah. Thanks, Mum. And the last of my gifts from my brother was, I have to say, I know you shouldn't have a favourite gift, but if I had one, this would probably be my favourite thing. It's um, a portrait of my favourite, well, my favourite, is, is my boy crush, basically, of the celebrity world. And that would be Mr Brad Simpson. You cannot get much hotter than this boy. Brad Simpson is just, he's just my everything of an ideal man. What can you hate about Brad Simpson? If you do not know who Brad is, he's the lead singer of the boy band The Vamps. And he's just, oh, I love you Brad Simpson. Okay, I'll shut up about Brad Simpson now. So now on to the gifts from my brother's girlfriend, Chelsea. And from Chelsea, I got this adorable black cat and it's so cute. It's called Shadow and it's a T.Y. Beanie. And it's so cute and I really love it. As you can see, I do love my furries. So Shadow will probably go to the with the rest of my furries. There you go. There you go, Shadow. Happily sitting at the top there. You can never be too old. From Chelsea, I also got a troll pencil. Um, kids of the 90s. You will remember these. They are literally so cool and you can just like stick their hair everywhere. You can look at this. Um, I am in love with that pencil. And then I also got some fruity rainbow rock. So I've got two sticks of rock, so I'm very happy about that, because rock's quite cool. You don't get it very often unless you're at the seaside. That leaves time for one more gift, and that is from my dad. And it's a clam, and it's got a pearl in it. Um, and you have to get the pearl out. It says, make a wish and open the sealed can. Carefully cut open the clam and take out the pearl. Remove the pendant from the chain and then place the pearl within the pendant and place back onto the chain. So basically, it's a DIY pearl set. You actually get the pearl out of the clam and it's genuine pearl. So that is really awesome and that's from my dad. So thanks, Daddy. That's it for now, folks. Um, I just hope you enjoyed watching that video of me receiving all my holiday gifts. Um, it's always been quite a tradition in my family to get gifts at the end of a holiday and um, usually things that you would like or something significant and yeah it's all we've always had that little tradition uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more stuff like this give it a subscribe and click that button now um, and yeah that's all I have to say so um, 
maybe another vlog tomorrow, who knows. Till next time.